Bruh. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video, where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 in 1444, that is unique enough of course, in alphabetical order, and this week we're back with the second nation in Season B, Bahmanis. Bahmanis is one of the most powerful nations that we've played so far, definitely in the top 3 to 5 nations, and it starts off in the middle of India, we need to fight our eternal rival Vijayanagar, who's a bit stronger than us and then we need to move up north and conquer the rest of the Indian nations. But what do we do as Bahmanis? Well, we do start off pretty powerful and there is an even more powerful nation we can form, Hindustan. Of course we need to conquer nearly all of India for that, but why not try and do it? Why not try and speedrun forming Hindustan? And we'll try and rule all of India. Just like you can rule the seas with the sponsor of today's video, World of Warships. World of Warships is a free to play game that's available on PC. It's a team based based sea battle game that requires you to use different strategies and tactics to outwit your opponents. World of Warships features over 400 historically accurate ships that you can take control of in beautiful maps with unique landscapes, weather changes, and stunning graphics. You can also customize all your ships to make them even more powerful. And in World of Warships, there's over 44 million players. And there are five different ship classes. Destroyers, battleships, cruisers, aircraft carriers, and submarines. Since December is the holiday season, the game will be full of events, active activities and giveaways. There's also new events and missions all the time. You can play with Godzilla or Kong as the commander of your ship. There's incredible characters from Azure Lane and giant monsters from Big Hunt. And those are just some of the previous collaborations in World of Warships. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description, download World of Warships for free and get a huge starter pack. If you use code FIRE, you'll get 200 doubloons, 1 million credits and a tier 5 USS Texas, along with 20 restless fire camouflage and a premium account for 7 days. Thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. Let's jump in as Bahmanis. Alright, alright, here we are as Bahmanis. Let's see what we need to form Hindustan and we need about uh, 20 provinces all over India. Something else that we have going for us is that we have cores over here in Vijayanagar, so that should be uh, pretty easy to get, even though they are stronger than us at the start. We also start off with this vassal right here. That's pretty nice, so let's go ahead and set some rivals. Vijayanagar, Gujarat, and uh, Jaunpur. Sure. Then let's get some allies. Who can we ally? Alright, Mewar is pretty strong. I'll do that. National decisions? Yes, yes. Enact a taxation policy. Let's get land acquisition. We are an Indian Sultanate. We have some pretty nice reforms to go through. I don't know if we're gonna be taking strength and noble privileges. I really don't. Let me do some estate stuff. Alright, estate stuff done. Let's sell some titles and seize some land. Perfect. We are making money too, so let's get some advisors. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna take this production efficiency guy. Diplo Repper, Spine Network? Hmm. How about Diplo Rep? And let's go with, ooh, a Discipline guy. I think these guys are actually half cost. We're still making a bunch of money, so I'm gonna, oh, well, that's a bit too expensive for me. Either way, we'll keep him. Ooh, I can convert. Wait, we're Shia? Oh, that's right, we're Shia. I thought we were Sunni. Either way, time to buff up our army a bit and get ready for our first wars. All right, first war time. Surprisingly, it's not gonna be versus Vijayanagar. They are kind of strong right now, but I am gonna fight Gujarat and their subject, Kandesh, over here. Boom, let's go on my war with the promise of land, reconquest for Thana, and boom. I also want these provinces right here, because I have a mission to take them, you know what I'm saying? And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Gujarat is down. So let me take these, because you need them for a mission. Let me get my core back. Ah, uh, Mewar is mad. I don't want them to be mad, so I'll give them this, and I'll take war reps, and I'll humiliate them. Nice. Nice start. Meanwhile, Vijayanagar has grown stronger. They are, uh, they are on the great powers list right now. Only 20 more dev than me, but that's fine. Finally, mission. Now I should get some claims on, ooh, this stuff. I like that. All right. Let's chill for a year, and then maybe we'll fight Vijayanagar hmm, before they eat up these small guys down here. All right, I'm Miltek 4, these guys are 3, I think this is the right time to fight them. Let's declare 4, oh, actually, let me claim their capital. <laughs> nice, I need that for a mission as well. Bro, they've gotten even more allies in the meantime. Let's see, is any one of those guys strong? Well, luckily, not. So yeah, let's declare on them. Declare for, I don't know, Chaul right there. Perfect. I don't know, if we don't beat them now, I don't know when, but... <laughs> They have so many forts. Pain! Ooh, that's finally done, boys. That's finally done. Very difficult war. The first war versus Vijayanagar is pretty hard as Bahmanis. Much easier when you're the yellow nation instead of the blue one. But I feel like we've gotten everything that we can from this. And uh, no need to waste any more money. So, 
let's get their capital of Vijayanagar. What's my cores again? Right, right, those over there. So let's get all of the cores back too. I got some stupid forts over here that I really don't like. So let's take this and this fort to make the next wars easier. Perfect. I'm also going to get war reps from them and all their money, at least as much as I can. All right. That's a very successful first war versus Vijayanagar. Who's angry? Well, a lot of nations are pretty angry, but at least we can diversify our conquests by fighting Hindu and Sunni nations as well. So now it's time to chill for a few years and uh, try to recover from this and then we'll continue on. Probably north. Now who's a great power? <laughs> oh wait, the renaissance probably spawned. Uh, oh yeah, it did. I think luckily we have- wait, this is all hills? No, it's all hills. Ah, I guess I'm gonna have to spawn it in my, uh, in my capital, huh? Ah, it's not that expensive. All right, tier two government reform time, boys. Now, not only do we have the classic strengthen and curtail noble privileges, but we also could have enforced trader privileges, super powerful if we were a plutonic autocracy, but because we're an Indian Sultanate, we also have Empower the Polygars, minus 5% dev cost, plus 10% infantry combat ability, or Dekani Elites, plus 1 diplomatic free policies. Now this one, it is super super strong. I do want to take it, but I wonder if we're gonna regret not taking strength and noble privileges for that manpower. Of course, we could open up with quantity, and I'm already pretty much suffering with manpower, so I'm really divided between these two, but I feel like, you know, we don't really get a chance to take this one, so let's take Empower the Polygars. Alright, so now we're gonna fight this nation of Chanda right here, not because I want their provinces or need them, but because I can call in Bengal into this war. This is very important. Wait, Calicut, Jharkhand, which were those nations? Calicut. Do I need that province to form Hindustan? I actually don't, so I literally don't care. But what I was trying to say is we're gonna call in Bengal into this puny war right here. Boom, there we go. So now Bengal is on my side. I actually don't really care about this war. What I do care about is, well, first of all, usually the Muslim piety interaction. There we go. Very nice. Now we're gonna let one month go by and declare on Malwa right here, which means Bengal, their ally as well, won't defend them because they're in a war with me already. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. Let's declare for that and call in Mewar. Wonderful. I love it, man. I love manipulating the AI like this. I really do. All right, so the war with Malwa is done. Easy enough. The problem is uh, I've split them up between myself and whoever this other nation that they're fighting is. These guys, they're also occupied, but they also occupy Malwa. Yeah, and they can't take anything because they're not connected. Should I, in fact, take stuff from Malwa and just call it, you know, and then take the rest of it later? I think I should because taking this is still going to be way too much aggressive expansion. So yeah, let's take that. I'm also gonna get a war. All right, I'm gonna stay in this war. All right, now I can do the war reps thingy. Is that all I have claims on? Pretty much, yes. All right, done. They were Sunni, so once again, no real risk of coalitions. Time to chill a bit again, and then continue our conquest, boys. All right, right, I'm... <laughs> fighting these guys too? What? I forgot. You know, listen, we don't need this province, but what am I gonna do? Not take it? Come on, it's basically free, dude. It's basically free. Right, right, I should also uh, annex my subject. All right, my boys Baluchistan here called me into a war versus Cooch. They should give me stuff if I participate enough. I got claims on them and their provinces of interest. So yeah, I didn't want to declare a war right now, but I guess we're doing it, huh, boys? I guess we're- oh my god, this OPM has a level 3 fort. Jesus. All right, I would have opened up with quality, but since we did take Empower the Polygars, I am gonna open up with quantity. And there we go. Gotta take that AE impact. And that's done, and Baluchistan did actually give me three provinces, these three provinces right here, which is very nice. Boom. All right, how's AE looking? Oh, AE is actually, uh, is actually pretty high. I do need to chill. Even though we're diversifying our conquests, obviously, we're not diversifying them enough. Maybe I can get one more ally here, let's see. Mm, no one really strong I can ally, to be honest. All right, Bengal called me into a war versus these guys I did accept. Maybe we'll get something out of this war as well. You know, it doesn't hurt to try. You know, we gotta expand in other ways too, so let's diplo vassalize these guys right here. And there we go, man. Four, you know, normal sized provinces for free. You gotta take advantage. And the war is over. Awesome. Bengal did give me three pro. Wait, why, why did they give me this province? <laughs> now I have to fight Jay Pore over here. Who's oh uh Bengal won't defend him. Let's get a let's get a spy network there going quick. Alright, let's fight these tiny guys just so I can have access to the province that uh Bengal over here gave to me. Let's fight some more tiny guys. 
All right, both of those wars are done. All right, now let's fight Andra because they have a lot of cores in Vijayanagar. We could take advantage of that, of course. I don't have a claim on them. All right, time to finally fight Andra. Wait, so Vijayanagar just wiped them out and now they're guaranteeing them. Classic. Well, that delays my war versus them. Either way, I am going to call in my boys here. Jungar, I think those are these guys. Yep. Can we co-belligerent them? What about Duhandar? Ah, no need to co-belligerent those guys. Let's call in, I don't know, Baluchistan too. All out war, baby. All out war. Just white piecing Vijayanagar so we can fight them ASAP, get Andra's scores back. There we go. Nice. And there we go, man. Very easy. Let's vassalize. Uh, wait, what, what's their flag like? Okay, a sword, white sword, a uh, Bahmani vassal. And then I'll give these two provinces to my boys over there. Wonderful. Excellent. Ooh, second idea group. Hmm, quantity, economic, or trade. Well, we're still not present in that many trade nodes. Only two or, well, two and a half, to be honest. Let's uh, buff up our economy even more. Another nation we can diplo-vassalize, Misore. They also have quite a few cores on Vijayanagar, so the next war versus Vijayanagar will basically decimate them forever. All right, time to annihilate Vijayanagar. Mm -mm -mm. So many cores we can reconquer. Let's declare for, well, it doesn't matter what we declare for, right? There we go. Perfect. This is going to be the end of them. And yeah, boys, that's that. Let's give uh, Misore all of their stuff back. There we go. Let's give Andra all of their stuff back. I think that's all. Wait, let's see. Oh, one more. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Or maybe this. Yeah, this is it. There we go. Perfect. Vijayanagar is not a problem anymore. Is anyone mad? <laughs> not really. Only some Hindu guys. But yeah, now we can take some more missions. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, now we need to conquer even more stuff. Going good, boys. Going good. Bahmanis is super, super powerful. Let's pay off some loans too. Tier 3 government reform time. Centralized or decentralized? Or city recruitment. Minus 10% fort maintenance. We do have a lot of forts. Plus 100 gov cap. I'll definitely need that. Super Super nice reforms for uh, Indian Sultanates, man. I really like them. All right, all right. Time for another fake war, just like last time, versus these guys this time, just so I can call in Mewar. Eh, I'll call in Bengal too. There's lots of these guys. Boom, there we go, all right? We're fighting a bunch of tiny nations, but the real war is versus Jalavad right here because they were allied to Mewar. Oh, can I co belligerent these guys? Of course I can, of course I can. Uh, let's declare for this. This is the real war, boys. This is the real war. Meanwhile, I've also gotten cannons. I am such a superpower. Man, Bahmanis is uh, super fun. I haven't played them. Uh, to be honest, I haven't played them in years, man. In years. And there we go, boys. The real war is done. Let's give this to my boys right here. And I'm gonna take uh, this stuff right here. Boom. There we go. Done. And we've reached a border of the Indian subcontinent. Wonderful. Secondary goal, conquer all of India. The super region, by the way. Perfect, man. And the fake war seems to be done as well. Boom. Let's take that. Now, there's definitely a risk of coalitions since four nations want to join, but I think I have chooses with most of them, so we should be good. But now it's definitely time for some big chillin' before we continue our conquests. Alright boys, time for another fake war versus Bastar right here so I can call in Bengal. Boom. But the real war is versus Malwa because they're allied to Bengal. Ooh, wait. I want to do this first. Okay, let's declare on Malwa as well and wipe them out. So yeah. All right, all right, real war is done. Boom, there we go. And fake war is done as well. Boom, there we go. Are any more nations angry at us? Not really, because Malwa, the nation we just fought, was Sunni. And the Sunni guys, well, they're in the north. They're not too angry. Pretty much the Hindu guys are the ones that are really angry. And Bengal is calling me to war versus Delhi, probably the second most powerful nation over here in the Indian subcontinent. I feel like we should take advantage of this. I've already claimed some stuff over here, and they are provinces of interest. Let's see if Bengal will give me something. I was given stuff two times before, boys, remember? Ooh we we got some high participation, boys. We're definitely getting stuff from Delhi. I wonder, uh, I wonder if that's a good idea, though, with these nations being so angry. Well, I did occupy all of Delhi. I guess two provinces is all that I got. That's fine. I'll take it. Alright, truce with Vijayanagar is up. Let's declare on them immediately before they join a coalition. Uh, we'll declare for whatever. Let's see this. Chitra Durg. There we go. Uh, boom. And that's the end of that. Ooh. Meanwhile, colonialism has spawned and we are gonna be spawning it ourselves in this province right here. Grasslands, not too bad. Cloth. Pretty good. Bump it up to level 2. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be spawning it right there. Meanwhile, I'm taking care of these small guys down here. Ah, let's fight our old ally Mewar. I'm sorry, it's just had to end at some point, you guys know. 
And uh, I think that's about enough for one more versus Mewar. We'll wipe them out. Ooh, we'll wipe them out in the second one. And we'll also take a new mission. Ooh, and another new mission. Very nice. Did we get new? Wait, we didn't get new claims from that? Oh, what, what, why did I get claims on, on this? I, I don't care about this. I... I want this. You know, the thing is, Sunni guys, they're still not angry at all. Just the Hindu guys. So, <laughs> let's keep fighting the Hindu guys. I'm gonna be declaring on Raton Poor right here. And apparently fighting all of these guys as well. Uh, let me just uh, set some provinces of interest right here. So Bengal gives them to me if they occupy them. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna have to fight a bunch of these guys. But oh well. And boom. Uh, apparently I crushed Delhi. The south is rising. Nice. I, uh, I just stole some dev from them. Wait, we actually have a lot of great projects over here. Oh, we're, we're not really using any of them. Uh, I should probably be bumping these up, huh? Uh, of course. Uh, of course, Bengal occupied their capital right as I wanted to vassalize them. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Bengal. Now I have to do this. <laughs> so stupid. Why? Okay, who's angry? Still only the Hindu guys. Where's our choose with the Janagor at? Ooh, it's about to run out. Let's run down there. All right, I think it's time to finish off Vijayanagar once and for all, boys. Once and for all. Unless their provinces cost too much, in which case uh, it won't be once and for all. And funnily enough, their provinces do cost too much, so uh, let's just take everything on the continent and take care of Sri Lanka later, huh? There we go, let's take a look at AE. Still only Hindu nations mad. I think definitely the path of wiping them out first before focusing on the Sunnis is the right way. Ooh, is the right way to go. Nice, I like this. Bro, I really have to fight Bengal and Nepal to uh, beat these guys up. I guess uh, that's it for my alliance with Bengal. Nope, there's no option for fake wars, unfortunately. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is, bo is boys. Now what do we take here next? We open up with quantity eco. I'm thinking humanist, admin, religious, diplo, maybe even influence. Lots of options. Eh, I feel like diplo for that province war score cost would be nice. Well, easy war I guess, even though we had to fight Bengal. Now I'm really getting other nations angry too though, but either way, I don't really care about that. So uh, who do we fight next here boys? Hmm, maybe Delhi themselves? All right, let's take out three birds with one stone right here. Sweet! And boys, we're officially an empire! Wonderful, the Bahmani Empire, the most powerful nation in the world, almost more dev than Ming! Yes, yes, we are that powerful. And now let's take all that power and put it into beating up Delhi. <laughs> yes, fear me Delhi! Fear me as I debase my currency. And the war with Delhi is pretty much done now. The most important provinces we need are these two. We need them to form Hindustan, of course, and I'm not that far off. I pretty much only need about five or six more provinces. One is owned by Vijayanagar, one is owned by Orissa, and then we got a couple in Delhi and over here. So yeah, let's take these two. Um, what else, man? What Can we release someone from here? Who's this, though? Ode? Let's see their cores. Uh, they don't really have that many. What about over here? Nah. So let's take the the two provinces that we need along with I don't know let's get a border up to Nepal I guess Oof, that's a lot of AE but I literally don't care boys I literally don't care I'm so powerful uh yeah nice who's angry now uh pretty much oh wait that's the true map mode who's angry now and oh Ooh. I did just fight a Sunni nation, so uh, it is expected that uh, more guys will be angry. Either way, let's go. Uh, oof, that truce is a long way off too. What do we do now though? Yeah boys, just four more provinces to form Hindustan, man. This one right here in Vijayanagar, this one right here in Orissa, this one right here in Sindh, and this one right here in Sirhind. Pretty nice. But either way, now we will be continuing our conquest versus Mewar this time, even though we don't really need stuff from them. Let's continue fighting people. Maybe we'll even get into some coalitions, huh boys? Boom, there we go. Boom, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm actually gonna vassalize these guys because, well, why not? There we go, more subjects. All right, boys, let's fight Sand and make the province we need from them, inching ever closer to our goal, by the way. And Sindh is done as well. Perfect, perfect. And let's acquire Multan as a vassal diplomatically. Perfect. They have a bunch of cores in Sirhind we can fight for. And I think it is time to wipe out Vijayanagar and Orissa. Oh, no CB. Come on, bro. Yes, finally, the destruction of Vijayanagar. I love it. I love it. 
And these guys are out as well, man. Uh, let's uh, let's take over Orissa too. Wonderful. We're pretty close to achieving our goal, boys. Forming Hindustan, man. We only need like four more provinces. Well, actually two more, right? Wait, actually just one more. We only need a Muldan here from Sirhind. So I guess our next war is gonna be with them. Hmm, they do have some all right allies. Luckily, Bengal won't join. So let's declare a little reconquest here pretty much right away. And the war versus Sirhind is done. Of course, I'm gonna be giving Multan back all their cores except for Multan itself. Pretty funny. And I'm gonna be taking more stuff as well. Perfect. Order gore? Yep, I love it. What is this? The CD state of Hapsan. Make Hapsan a march. The rebels must be dealt with. Hapsan declare war on Bahmanis with independence CB. Where is this though? Bruh. <laughs> is this? Oh my god. I was scared, man. I thought like a nation this big was gonna pop out. All right, that was dealt with. Let's deal with this too. And there we go, boys. 1539, a little slow by speedrunning standards, but hey, now what are you gonna do, right? Let's form Hindustan. Boom. Ah, yes, please. Okay. No more Amir's integration policy, I guess. That's fine. And we are Hindustan. Wonderful. Let's take a look at our national ideas. Mm, manpower, gov cap, discipline, infantry combat, advisor cost, minus five years of separatism, legitimacy. That's kind of the lamest one <laughs> land fire damage plus 10 percent missionary strength plus two and minus 10 percent death cost mm -mm -mm. i love those national ideas i don't love that they have a smaller mission tree than bahmanis apparently but yeah uh let's do that apparently let's do this too and uh apparently we haven't united a lot of uh places <laughs> but at least for hindustan hey goal number one accomplished now for goal number two let's conquer the entire indian subcontinent <laughs> yeah let's get to it boys let's get to it let's fight delhi wait what did i get claims on oh now i have claims on everything and malaya too apparently <laughs> nice delhi is down i repeat delhi is down i don't even care about aggressive expansion anymore dude coalition what co huh Listen, boys, we gotta beat them before they beat us. So let's fight all of these guys. I co belligerent in Nepal as well. Uh, yeah, let's knock out the guys I don't actually care for first. So easy, man. So easy. Now, don't be afraid, Nepal. I'm not gonna full annex you. I want all your provinces except one. Is that right? That is right. Oh, I was almost gonna piece both of them out in that screen. So yeah, luckily, I was careful. There we go. Let's take all of that from Nepal. Wonderful. And let's full annex these guys as well. There we go. Who is mad? Pfft, still the same guys. I still don't care. Ah, now why? What I didn't notice is that I'm 140% overextended. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. All right, let's fight this OPM here who apparently decided to ally every nation in existence. Who am I fighting? Bruh. Well, this war didn't have to be that annoying. Uh, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of deving. You know, I'm making so much mill points, it's not even funny. And let's fight these guys, apparently. Uh, why do they all have 50 allies? That's it, bro. From now on, anyone who gets in my way gets full annex. Just like Naga Ur right here, they're not even a co-belligerent. I literally don't even care. Fine. Get involved in wars. That's what happens. That's what happens, yeah? Integrate the Dekon? Sure. These guys over here are next as well. Oh my god, am I really have to- Sir Hin, man. The biggest pain in the you-know-what. Well, the war with these guys is over. And these guys are out as well. Oh, I accidentally give one of those guys to Bengal. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so uh, now we don't really have any more nations to fight. Except for Sir Hind, Bengal, and uh, I think uh, we need two provinces from Manipur right here. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Okay, so let's annex these guys, finish off Sir Hind, and then uh, we're gonna have to choose break Bengal a couple of times. Finally, finishing off Sir Hind. Someone from Tibet and someone from Chan. I like that. <laughs> That's a big Iraq. Tabriz, what's up with that? Nice Ethiopia, by the way, going over to Europe. Styria, they're looking pretty good. And that's everything I need from Sir Hind. We don't need these three provinces there. Perfect. All right, man. Just annexing Mewar left, which I'm already doing. And we just need to take <laughs> all of this from Bengal. Now, their province war score cost is uh, 206%. And uh, looks like we're going to have to fight them three times to get everything we want. Pretty much, we're gonna have to truce break them 
twice. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our first war versus Bengal. Let's declare for Sauron right here, a province that's close by. Meanwhile, I've allied Ayutthaya, they'll help from the south. Why not? Boom. See, the thing is, Hindustan uh, has a pretty white color, and uh, Shen is also pretty white too. Sure, they differ, but uh, can you guys tell what's occupied by me and what's occupied by Shan? Because uh, I don't think I can unless I go into the simple terrain map mode. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, boys, let's take as much as we can from them. <laughs> 186 A, 150% overextension. Uh, I don't have nearly enough admin points to core it all. But hey, let's worry about that in the coalition that just formed later. Certified bra moment right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That was pretty intense, boys. <laughs> you guys have no idea how many uh, rebels I had to fight, man. But uh, yeah, luckily we're over that now. And some nations have even started leaving the coalition, like the Timurids. Not a real coalition, just three guys in it, man. And it's time to truce break Bengal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the time has come, huh, boys? Let's declare for coach right here. Boom, boom. Am I gonna regret this? Probably, yeah. And that's everything I need from Bengal. Done. Now, things have complicated themselves because I need uh, two provinces from Manipur, one from Sadia, and one from Shan. And the coalition, it is growing, boys. But this is not a problem. I don't want peace. I want problems. So let's start doing that as well. Let's declare a Manipur right here. Uh, there we go. Boom. We just need a little bit from them. We can also fight Ava. And I'm also gonna declare on Sadia here. They're also on Ava tributary. And I do think I can piece out Manipur for what I want, that is true, so let's take that from them. Perfect. Two more provinces, boys. Two more. And let's finish off Shan. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final piece in our puzzle. We have formed Hindustan, accomplished our primary goal, and... We have conquered the entire Indian subcontinent, every single province in India is ours as Hindustan. One goal down, two goals down, easy campaign baby, easy campaign. Now I did want to play a little bit more serious this time since we have done Mimi campaigns for the past couple of videos, so we start off with a strong nation, I was like huh, why not keep them strong until the end of the game instead of not care about blowing up and stuff like that. Awesome economy, we own every Everything in India, like I said, half of it is stated. We're making tons of money, huge army, very powerful, high quality army, and we could also double it if we wanted to. Let's uh, bump up while well, we can't, not enough admin points, but we can core it. Sure, no bankruptcies and no disasters. This one was kind of close to firing, not really. We were never really close to bankruptcy. And yeah, like I said, I wanted to do a little bit more of a serious campaign for you guys. But I'm happy to say that this A to Z challenge as Bachmanis is a success. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. And don't forget to download World of Warships at the link in the description, use code FIRE and get your free rewards today. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.